Hey guys, today I'm going to show you what the best carry player in the world, Yotoro, does to farm as efficiently as possible in any Dota game. This is one of the most efficient farming patterns. I've decided to name this concept the ping pong technique because it allows you to bounce back and forth from the jungle to the lane according to your situation in the game. There are three main variations of this concept. Let me show you using one of Yotoro's recent Luna games. This concept is very simple to also replicate. Let's look at exactly what he does. Generally, you want to start doing this around like minute six to 10 is like the best time to do it. And the heroes who do this in the best way are ones that have inherent, inherent farming abilities such as Luna, Sven, Medusa, Templar Assassin, but other heroes like Morph, Slark, Razor, they can do it too. This is going to be variation number one. Variation one where you feel very safe. You can kill the wave up here, the creep wave, and you kill it as fast as possible. Because your main goal is to create a lot of time. Once this creep wave is dead, you have freedom until the second wave arrives anywhere close to your lane, which now allows you time to farm in the jungle. So Yatoro instantly kills the creep wave, walks over to the left, he gets to farm an ogre camp now at minute six, now he walks back to the lane, and as you can see, he comes perfectly back in time for the second creep wave. Click, 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 kill all the creeps. It's 650, which means the next creep wave is already here very soon. He sees both the supports on the vision that his Kanka is giving him, so he doesn't feel in any danger, which means hit the lane creeps and start running towards the jungle. You can see that even before killing the camp, he's posturing towards the left and farming. So creep wave gets killed, easy camp gets farmed. We farm to the left, which is going to give him another medium camp upon finishing this we're gonna walk back to the lane how much have we missed maybe one lane creep but we gained two jungle camps minute 740 so now it depends okay what do we see on the map look at Yatoro's vision he doesn't see the et he doesn't see the pugna but most importantly who do you not see he doesn't see the storm storm could be anywhere storm could have tp ready which means right now we can't just go and kill the wave here and then farm left that would put you in a very dangerous position this is going to be variation two where the enemy mid can gank you he farms the wave in the tower and he's going to be ready to farm south side because now the tower will protect him and he can farm this camp very easily still. If they dive him, he has stick, he has 1100 HP with strength threads, they can TP and help him out. Same story again. Farm the wave here, then farm this camp. Then you take the next wave, you do it again. Storm Spirit has now just shown in the mid lane. And this is going to be where we have variation number three. It's the most safe one while still being around the safe and the safe jungle, which is where you ditch the lane. Because now it depends on what you see on the map. Storm is fully fogging. There's some other stuff fogging. Like, you don't really see what's going on. People are starting to get their ultimates. Like, you know, Mag could have RP, which means this is the first time where you are not looking fully back at the lane. You're farming all the way left until your enemies give you more information. The more information you have, the better information you can make about where to farm. All right, so right now he's like, okay, I don't know where Storm is. I don't know where Pugna is. I'm just going to farm all the way left. So this is the first time in four minutes that he has given up lane creeps. Storm has been fogging for a long time. So here you take maybe a little bit of a gamble in terms of how you posture. There's no camps left down below. He wants to start walking towards the lane in hopes that the Storm will show. Storm Spirit shows mid, Pagna shows mid. This now allows your Toro, okay, let's farm more aggressively, right? Let's posture more aggressively into the lane again. The more they show me, the more aggressive I can be, the less they show, the more defensive I have to be. And because he's walking back to the lane already, it's gonna give him a kill because his Pudge is TPing, he's around to deal the damage, and boom, this feels great. Because Magnus is dead, because Storm is showing mid, he can push out this entire bottom wave, and now he goes back to variation number one. But here's where he even takes it to the next level. This is something you can try to incorporate. The reason why we do this is to give us the most gold possible, but to put us in the best position naturally on the map. That is what a good farming pattern does. It gives you a lot of gold it gives a lot of experience but it naturally puts you in a nice position to move from camp to camp from camp to tower and so on but you need to play off of what you see the more info you have the better information like the more info you have the better decisions you can make here i think this is a very very nice example he kills the entire wave he's ready to walk to the triangle right now right to just like farm some creeps here and chill they're stacking for him but he sees that the storm tp is top he sees storm is top he sees storm is low mana which means instead of farming the triangle He's just going to go and hit the mid tower. You know, he has the option to farm triangle creeps or pressure the map. He goes for pressuring the map simply because he knows he's allowed to do this because Storm does not have a TP. The only one that can stop him from doing this is the Storm Spirit. At minute, like 5.45, where we started the replay, Yatoro is 2.7k net worth. 
he's level four so like he's one and a half levels behind this pango one and a half levels behind storm you know he's doing okay on the net worth top three at minute 1120 after doing the ping pong concept for five minutes yatoro is 1000 gold ahead of his pangolier he is one and a half levels above the enemy life stealer he's taking the enemy mid tower and he is just by far the top gold in the game and he's nearly as high level as his mid laner same level as the enemy mid laner and here just comes down to the three variations if you feel very safe you can farm it here go like this and come back if you feel a little less safe let the wave run further and closer to your tower go here farm it in your tower farm the south side camps and if you feel really 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 in danger that is the first time where you farm absolutely fully backwards and then you look to come back to the lane with depending on the info you have on the map. Of course, this applies on the dire side too, but this concept is very easy. It should help you to get top net worth in most of your games. Unless your lane went really poorly, then that's on you. Thanks a lot for watching. Let me know down below what you'd like to see more. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more content and see you next time.